what's going on everybody I hope you're all doing awesome today it's your boy Larry here coming to you at the Death Star now technically this place is still classified so don't tell anybody I told you but anyway I thought today would be an awesome day to give you guys a little tour of the space station so let's go before we get going let's go ahead and stop by and say hi to the Dark Lord himself that's right hey Vader what's going on man you want to say hi to all my followers what what are you doing Oh, I'm uh, making a vlog of the Death Star today. What's a uh, vlog? It's basically a video blog. I just film myself doing random things and then I post it to the internet for everybody to see. And then everybody who likes my content can give it a thumbs up or even put their opinions in the comment section below. Did you just say that everybody sees this? Yeah. Uh, why? You mean you're filming yourself on the Death Star and telling tons of people about this highly classified and top secret space station that nobody's supposed to know about? I, uh, I, well, it's not quite, I mean, well, hey, check this out. Look, I just got a new subscriber and they commented on your new helmet. Ooh, really? What'd they say? So as you know, the Death Star is roughly the size of a small moon, so I technically haven't seen the entire thing. So occasionally I will find cool new spots that I've never seen before, like this one. Here, check it out. We actually have a shooting range. Can you believe it? I never knew that this existed. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't think anybody does. This place looks pretty clean and untouched, honestly. Almost like it's never even been used. So that's, uh, uh, hmm, interesting. Okay, okay, listen guys, okay, so here's the deal. I'm about to show you something incredibly awesome, okay? This is something that is very cool that very few people have ever seen. I can't hype this up any more than I possibly can. I can't believe how excited I am to show you this. Okay, okay, here it is. All right, all right, here it is. Check it out. Boom! There it is. This is the Emperor's Throne. This is where Lord Sidious himself gets to sit and think about stuff. I mean, come on, you gotta love that view, right? Oh, and don't worry, the Emperor's actually out of town right now. I've actually heard that he's been spending a lot of time with his girlfriend lately. Larry, what are you doing in my office? Oh crap, okay, I gotta go. Okay, so I know this just looks like a bathroom, and it is, it is just a bathroom, but this is the first ever documented Death Star bathroom. That's right, me. I'm the first one, I'm the first one ever to show this to anybody ever. Until now, most people didn't even think we had bathrooms here on the Death Star, because in fact, we actually have two whole bathrooms here on the Death Star. We have one here on the upper level, and then we have another one on the lower level. So here is another area of the Death Star that not too many people know about. This is one of the many trash compactors here on the detention level. But you know what isn't trash? An amazing balanced breakfast from today's sponsor! That's right, you can pick up your very own box of Honey Nut C3PO cereal today. The odds of you turning down this delicious bowl of goodness is practically zero. Use coupon code LARRY20 to get 20% off your first purchase. Trust me, you troopers won't want to miss out on this deal from a galaxy far, far away. Be sure to check out the link in the description. So this next room is actually pretty sweet. This is where you can see the actual beam from the Death Star when it's fully powered up. Pretty cool, right? You know what's not cool though? Having to work near one of the most powerful weapons in the universe and we can't get one safety rail between me and the giant beam of death. Just one. I'm not asking for much. We've got the money to have a coffee shop on every single level, but we don't have the budget for one safety rail and maybe, <laughs> just maybe, a few more bathrooms. Is that too much to ask? This is another cool thing about the Death Star, is that pretty much wherever you are, the views are incredible. Oh hey Larry, where'd you get the cool hoodie? Oh well, thank you for asking. Don't you forget to check out the merch store and get yourself one of these dope hoodies. Shameless plug. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, man. And subscribe if you aren't already. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instabam, Stormtruder, and Dislord. Hey, was that? Is that an X-Wing heading for the thermal exhaust port? Oh, oh, I gotta go. Sector is clear. Not clear, not clear! Sector is clear. Hey, what do you think about the new Battlefront 2? The new one? <laughs> you have failed me for the last time. Not clear! Not clear! <laughs> Sector's clear. Not clear! Not- Oh wait, never mind. I thought you were a droid. <laughs> uh, sector's clear. <laughs> Not clear. Not clear. Sector's clear. Not clear. Not clear. Uh -oh. 
Sector's clear. That's the point, Sergeant. The sector's clear. Uh-oh. you to know I'll always love you. Mwah. So, here you go. Ah, I miss her already. What the? Ah, Lola, I need you. Now I really need to just blow something up. What we think we'd all be like if lightsabers were real. Ah, uh, cool! A lightsaber! Yeah! Oh, yeah! be like if lightsabers were real. Two minutes into owning them. Okay, no more lightsabers. One more slip and I'll end up like Anakin. Just a little bit more here, a little tighter, and ah, there we go. Good as new. Oh, hello. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm going to stop you right there and tell you that I need to see your manager. Oh, is there something wrong? Look, I don't need to talk to a minimum wage floor worker. Just do as you're told and get me your manager now. Well, unfortunately, he's not here at the moment. But, I mean, if you want, I can let him know you stopped by the store. Did you not hear me? I said, go get your manager for me now. Um, well, like I said, the manager is not here at the moment, so since he's not here, you cannot see him. That is unacceptable. Don't you know who I am? I think that he is here, and you're just hiding him from me. Why would I hide him from you? I don't even know who you are. Plus, Vader sounds like a giant vacuum cleaner. I don't even think I could hide him even if I wanted to. You don't know who I am? How do you not remember me? I was here just like a week ago when you refused to give me my refund and then Vader cut off my head. Hmm, doesn't ring a bell. I mean, to be honest, Vader cuts off a lot of people's heads, so unless there's somebody who actually matters, I'm probably not going to remember you. What the? You little... <clears throat> Look, here's the deal. I'm suing Vader for not only physical, but emotional, mental, and spiritual abuse. And I need to deliver these papers to him to let him know he's been served. And since he's not here, you need to make sure he gets these. Thanks. Oh, why didn't you just say so? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Excuse me? Did you just talk back to a customer? Well, technically, you're not a customer because you haven't bought anything. And also, it's not my job to run your personal errands, miss. Yes, it is your job. Now you pick up those papers and deliver them to Vader. Nope. Uh, just do it, okay? Not my problem. But you have to, so just do it. 
You know what? No! I'm now going to ask you to stop it right there. You need to listen, and listen good. First off, I'm not just a floor worker, okay? I am a human being, and I deserve respect just like everybody else in the universe. And I don't deserve to be talked down to like I'm a pile of garbage. Second of all, when somebody gives you an answer that you don't like, by simply repeating yourself at a higher volume isn't just going to make your request magically happen. Lastly, neither me nor anyone else is your personal errand boy. Here's an idea. You have something that you need done? Try doing it yourself. And maybe in the future, when something doesn't go your way, don't just assume it's my fault, or Vader's fault, or even, God forbid, Jar Jar's fault. Maybe it's your fault. Just so you know, I'm recording you. What the? Nice shot. Plus, that was like perfect timing. Did you really not remember who she was? <laughs> I knew exactly who she was, which is exactly why I knew it wasn't going to go well, so I figured, hey, might as well have some fun. Oh, and hey, uh, it's good to see you back. Good to be back. Also, somebody puked over by the rocket launchers. Go and get a mop in a bucket. And just like that, the moment's over. Hello, fellow Star Wars fans, and welcome to Star Wars for Dummies. Today, we're going to be going over the Stormtrooper. Considered to be the universal symbol of the Empire, they have an unswerving oath to protect the Empire and its leader Emperor, aka Lord Sidious. <laughs> Good. They come in many different shapes and sizes, and every division is considered very important and vital to the protection of the galaxy. But today, we're going to focus on your standard Imperial Stormtrooper. These troopers can be found in every corner of the galaxy. Perhaps you have even seen them marching around your planet or neighborhood. They come in the standard shining white armor and are equipped with an E-11 blaster, which, if we're being completely honest, might as well be a giant paperclip. Hey! Though at first sight, they can come off as a very intimidating soldier, ready to blast away any target in sight. They are generally considered to be completely ineffective in combat. Grenade out! Oh crap! Enemy! 12 o'clock! Ah! Missile away! Oh, nice try, little guy. Points for effort, though. The Stormtrooper's armor is designed for protection from basic blaster fire and overall is equipped to be comfortable and stylish. But with that, does come with some weaknesses. Unfortunately, the armor has proven ineffective against rocks, <laughs> arrows, <laughs> and even doorways. <laughs> Though they may not be considered the most valuable asset on the field of battle, or can even be downright clumsy. <laughs> Imperial Stormtroopers have received many exciting new excitements throughout the galaxy. For example, the new sanitation department has made a great addition to the Death Star project. And I thought he only smelled bad on the outside. They've also been assigned to important scavenger hunt missions on various planets around the galaxy. Sir, have you seen these droids? Sir? Sir, excuse me! Sir! Ah. Keep on the search, Trooper. The galaxy needs your help. The future of these White Knight soldiers is undoubtedly going to be filled with glorious action and heroic adventures. But what about all the other characters in the Star Wars universe? Whether it be the lowest repair droid or even the Emperor himself, be sure to subscribe to find out more. I'll see you, fellow troopers, here on the next episode of Star Wars for Dummies. And may the Force be with you. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. I just want to squeeze that cute little face. An Ewok? On the base? Blast him. Wait, are you serious? I mean, it's just a cute little Ewok. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Listen, that is Imperial property, which means that that Ewok is trespassing. It's your job to keep the place secure. Well, okay. I guess that makes sense. Oh, wait. Where did he go? Hold on, wait. You lost him? Well, he was just right there a second ago. <laughs> oh, crap. Larry, 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 call for backup! <laughs> I have acquired through my connection to the dark side. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you let Savage go now, that will be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you, and I will kill you. Um, excuse me, sir? <laughs> what are you doing here? Are you preparing for your revenge speech again? What? No, 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 I, I was not. Are you sure? Because you were talking about your legs again, and you only bring them up when you're preparing to face Kenobi. Kenobi... Canoe Vader! Vader! I need your help. We have a huge problem. Oh, what? What? What is it? I just went to stream Star Wars on Disney+, Plus, but I noticed it was no longer there. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got rid of it. What? 
Why? Well, I realized I don't really need it since I already have the movies. Here, watch it on this. What? What? What is this? This is a VHS tape. Uh, a, a CNS tape? No, a VHS tape. Oh, uh, um, uh, hmm. Well, this is what we used to watch all the movies on before streaming became available. Oh, really? But I, I, I don't see, like, an HDMI connection for this. Oh, it must uh, hook up through the Wi-Fi, right? Uh, no. You'll have to watch it on this gigantic heavy VCR. Oh, okay. Um, well, can I at least watch all the Star Wars movies through this? Uh, no. This just plays one movie. Just one? Look at how big this thing is, and it only plays one movie? Well, yeah. And I actually just watched that one, so you're gonna have to rewind it. Re... rewind it? Yes. You mean, I can't just click the option to start this from the beginning? No. <sighs> okay, well, how long is that gonna take to rewind it? You'll need to clear out your afternoon. Can I at least watch this on my phone? No. My iPad? No. My laptop? No. Well, then how am I supposed to watch it? You'll have to watch it on a giant square box that weighs more than Jabba the Hutt. You're really old, dude. I know. Alright, Chupa. This is armed and ready to go. Now go place it under the bridge so we're ready for the ambush. Uh, are you sure this is safe? Did you set it correctly? Chupa, I've literally done this over a thousand times. I think I know what I'm doing. Now go place it under the bridge. Yes, sir. Hello, Chupa. How are things going over here? Going as planned, sir. We're setting the package under the bridge now, and it will be ready to go off in 30 seconds. Perfect. Now we can- wait, did you just say 30 seconds? Uh, yeah. Wasn't that the time I was supposed to set it for? No! I said 30 minutes! We still need to set up everything for the ambush. What? But I thought you said- <gasps> Oh no! The other trooper! What other trooper? No! Oh, hey guys. Oh, there you are. Uh, yeah, I'm right here. I thought you were- wait, where did you set the package? Oh, I had to go to the bathroom real quick, so I temporarily put it over by the gaming room. No! I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I 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 need it! I need it! I need it! I need it! I need it. I need to blow something up! Yeah! One thing's for sure, I like to blow stuff up, because I like to blow stuff up! <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you have not yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I hope you all have an amazing day. A long time ago, at a strip mall far, far away, there used to be a place that you could rent your favorite movies, Blockbuster. Ah, Blockbuster. I have many fond memories of this place. If you're old enough to remember, this was the place to go to have an awesome Friday night. All you needed was a couple good movies, get some sweet delicious candy from the counter, and order a nice cheesy pizza with a side of fizzy soda to enjoy an epic cinematic experience with good friends. If you were born anytime after 2004, you may not remember Blockbuster, or even having to go out to rent movies in general. As of right now, there still is one Blockbuster open in Bend, Oregon, but the majority of them have been closed since September of 2010. So if you are a part of that younger group, I'm here to tell you that you truly missed out on the experience of what it was really like to watch some of the best cinematic movies of all time the right way. So I'm here to paint a little picture for you. Now for me, I was born in 19 none your business, but I would remember my night would go from good to great when I would hear my parents say, hey, let's go to Blockbuster tonight. The smile on my face would widen larger than Jabba the Hutt. I mean, because you know, Jabba the Hutt's 
pretty big. The overwhelming joy you'd get just by walking through those front doors was incredible. Just all the unlimited options you would have before you. I mean, you got action and comedy and action comedy, but you'd usually end up checking out the new releases section first. Thus starting the first step of our blockbuster experience, browsing. The process of walking up and down every aisle, carefully examining each cover to make sure you didn't skip anything good. Then picking out all the cases that you would put in what you would call the maybe pile. Not like today's version of browsing. I remember some of the movie options didn't even have a cover, so all you would have to work with was the title. So if you had never heard of it, by picking it out, it was almost like going on a blind date with a movie. Hey, how's it going? So, uh, you into comedies? Ugh, oh great, another drama queen. Now, if you're like me, you came from a family of multiple siblings. So unlike a single child family where you maybe have the option of renting multiple movies, I only had the option of selecting one movie for the night because the rest of the selections would be picked out by my other siblings. And of course, we all know I would pick the best movie. You know, the adventure story with intense action and explosions and suspenseful drama, while my sister would always just end up picking out that fruitsy love poem unicorn. <laughs> Which brings us to the next step. The decision. This was important because you need to make sure that you are picking out the best movie possible. Because unlike today, when you finish watching a movie, you're just that. You finished watching the movie. I mean, you're done and you can just move on to the next film and you can always just click back months later to watch it again. But during the blockbuster days, when you would rent a movie, you'd usually have that copy for at least a few days. And if it turned out to be a good film, you'd most likely end up watching it more than once before returning it. Why? Because this actually had value to you and not in the term of like money or dollars, but in experience and in joy and for love of the movie. Unlike streaming or instant movies that you can get through your smart TVs today, you had a limited time with this. You wanted to savor every possible minute before you had to deliver it back into the dark abyss of the blockbuster drop box. Until next time, my beautiful. Which, honestly, as a kid, was the last best part about renting movies. As a kid, it was your job to deliver it back into the drop box. You never actually knew what happened after sliding it into that silver metal rectangular slot, but you just assumed it was something magical. Something that would help bring that copy into the next child's hands. In reality, though, it was probably just some dude named Dave. Oh, uh, hey, how's it going? After finally selecting your movie of choice for the night came the next step. The candy counter. Just like going to the movie theater, no movie night was complete without your perfect choice of candy. It could have been sweet and savory or chocolate and gooey. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you guys would always choose for your perfect movie night snack. Whatever your choice might have been back then, your block of sugar would basically define your overall cinematic experience for the night. Because your taste buds would forever be associated with your movie of choice that night. It could be 5 years, 10 years, or even 20 years later. You'll still need that package of sour gummies to fully enjoy watching Back to the Future for the 20,000th time. Because it's awesome, and it's amazing, and I'm never going to stop watching it. Never! Blockbuster even had its own brand of popcorn that you could pick up at the counter. Now, was it good? To be honest, I don't really remember. So because of that, uh, probably no, it, it wasn't anything special. Then comes the final and most important step of the Blockbuster experience. Watching the movie. Yes, actually watching the movie. And I can tell you right now, I don't care how many times you've seen Batman, Jurassic Park, Star Wars, E.T., The Breakfast Club, Footloose, Top Gun, Big, Forrest Gump, The Karate Kid, The Eight Hours Later, Rocky, Die Hard, Terminator, or Ferris Bueller's Day Off. There is no better time than the first time of actually watching it. Because during that first time, your eyes never leave the screen. You're so focused like a drooling dog as you're holding his ball. Because you don't want to miss a thing. Unlike today where they're showing that big screen where it's presenting a piece of cinematic history right in front of you. But then at the same time, you're looking at a smaller screen that's in your hands. Checking on updates to see what other people are pretending to watch on Netflix that night. Or, or on Hulu. Or uh, uh, Disney Plus. Or, uh, or Peacock. Or, uh, five minutes later, it was on Prime. And, um, 
HBO Max. <sighs> I mean, just the ways of watching movies has definitely changed. I mean, it's all right there, right now, at your fingertips. Which, I mean, don't get me wrong, definitely does have its perks, and it could be great at the same time. I mean, for example, I mean, there's no more waiting, no more lines, and uh, <laughs> uh, no more late fees. And trust me, I hate late fees just as much as everybody else. But that experience gave us something that it does not give you guys today. And that is responsibility. That's right. And being on time. If you didn't bring it back in time, you had the consequence of a late fee. You know, I'm willing to bet that most of you are currently streaming movies through somebody else's account. And, uh, well, I mean, I guess I guess I can't be too judgy in that because, I mean, I, I guess I actually do still use my friend's Netflix account and he doesn't know it. An extra bonus about Blockbuster, though, was that at one point you could even rent video games for a while, which also, to be honest, was just another lesson in time management because you were basically playing the game as fast as you possibly could to get as far into the game before having to return it. And again, on time. So, if you actually are old enough to remember these experiences as a child, I'm here to tell you that you truly lived in a glorious era and appreciation towards many of the classic films that even our kids get to enjoy today. So much so that many of those film stories have actually branched out into new movies that we can see with them again on the big screen. So if you're watching this and you have a son or a daughter or maybe even a younger sibling that still hasn't heard the skin crawling sound of Darth Vader's breathing or watched intense as Marty went back in time or experienced the terrifying roar of a giant T-Rex. Take tonight to put down the smartphone, cook up some buttery popcorn, and enjoy a perfect bonding experience over a classic cinematic adventure. Good night, everybody. donuts in my face. I mean, for no reason. Seriously? Yeah, and I still have no idea who he actually was. I just found it all really suspicious, you know? Hey, could you uh, go grab us a couple seats while I get our order for us? Okay. Hey, excuse me, is this where the line starts right here? Okay, thanks. Uh, uh, hold on, wait a minute. You're... <gasps> You're Darth Raven! Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it! What is... Just, what, what, what do you even do to board the Death Star anyway? Oh, that's right, I forgot. You're not much of the uh, talkative type, are you? Hey, how's it going? I just wanted to pop in here for one second because I know many of you Star Wars fans out there were probably going to call me out on the fact that Raven would never appear on the Death Star at this time because his timeline and the Death Star timeline are literally 4,000 years apart. Well, for those of you who would like to say that in the comments below, I would just like to remind you that this is a fan-made animation video that does not follow every little detail in the Star Wars universe, whether that be canon or legends. Heck, I could even have Urkel from Family Matters or Jerry Seinfeld make an appearance if I want to. This is all just for fun, and maybe we can even call this a what if episode. All right, let's get back to the video. Ooh, are those your lightsabers? Man, those are pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. Here, Raven, why don't you try one of these out for yourself? Just firmly grasp it in your hand. <sighs> firmly grasp it. <sighs> firmly grasp it. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my, I am so sorry. Here, let me help you. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. Can't you just do that, like, force healing thing on yourself? <clears throat> oh, okay, sorry, sorry, I forgot. I, I, I can never remember if that's a Jedi thing or a Sith thing. <clears throat> <sighs> so, uh, Raven, uh, what, uh, what, what kind of sandwich are you, you gonna order? Do you prefer light or dark meat? Honestly, I go back and forth myself. I think to myself, light or dark? Light or dark? 
light or dark? Hey Raven, what do you prefer? Light or dark? Light or dark? Hey Raven, light or dark? Light or dark? Light or dark? Light, or dark? light uh, what? what is this? His name is Revan, not Raven, you buckhead. <gasps> oh, crap. What to do, what to do, what to do? <laughs> Could this line move any slower? I mean, why do they only ever have two people working the counter at... again. I've tried it like a dozen times and it's still not coming out. Here, let me give it a try. See, I told you, no matter what I do, the stupid thing won't fall. Uh, well, I, I mean, well, I, I guess that works. Actually, it's a pretty good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Wait a minute. Why does a droid even need food to begin with? It's okay. I deserve this over all the money it's taken from me over the years. Try something different. Oh, God. seriously? Are you serious right now?
Mr. Nice Guy. Oh 
Oh yeah, it's me, it's your boy here. Did you miss me? Of course you did. And you know what? I have missed you guys too. And I know exactly what you have been thinking. Where's Larry been? Larry, what have you been up to? Larry, did you ever give that girl a call from the one episode a while back? All valid questions, but they will have to wait for another time. Right now, it's just important to let you all know that I am here. I have not fallen off the face of the Death Star. I am here for you guys, and I want to thank you all who have supported me and who have missed me since I've been gone. We didn't all miss you. Hey, nobody asked you, Carl. It's Carl. What? My name, it's Carl. Oh, wait, uh, wait, uh, what did I say? You said Carl. My name's Carl with a K. Carl with a K? That makes no difference. Carl sounds exactly the same with a K or a C. No, they're completely different. They're exactly the same, Carl! That's not my name. My name is Carl with a K. Not a C, a K. Okay, look, look. Say your name. Carl. Okay, now say it with a C. Carl. You see? It sounds exactly the same, Carl. You're doing it again. My name is Carl with a K. Yes, I know your name is Carl with a K. Look, what I'm saying to you is that Carl with a C or a K... Nah, uh, uh, it's Carl. ...with a C or a K may be spelled differently, but they sound the same. It's like my name. Larry with one R or two makes no difference. They both sound the same. Whoa, what do you mean? They sound completely different. What? That's why I call you Larry and not Larry. It's the same thing. I mean, you're just using a different inflection is all. One R or two, it still comes out as Larry. Well, now you're just saying your own name wrong. I know how to pronounce my own name, Carl. Well, apparently you don't know how to pronounce your own name. You keep calling me Carl with a C when it's clearly Carl with a K. Carl and Carl do not sound the same at all. Yeah, well, you know what? If you correct me again, your name's going to be Carl with a C for corpse. All right, that's what I thought. <sighs> okay, um, can we just go ahead and shoot my uh, outro real quick? Okay, all right, thank you guys. All right, here we go. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching Larry the Stormtrooper today. Ah, you only used one R that time. All righty, that's it. Now your new name is going to be Frank with an F for fired. <laughs> Hello, Lord Vader. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, hey, Larry. What, uh, what are you doing right now? Right now? I'm currently off duty. Why? Is there an urgent matter you need me for? Oh, uh, no. Not right now, anyway. I just wanted to call and, you know, say hey. Oh, uh, hey? So, there isn't an urgent matter you need me for right now? Nope. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. So, so um, um, oh, oh, sorry, no, no, go ahead. Oh, no, you, you go ahead, Trooper. Oh, well, um, I mean, so, how are you doing? Not bad, not bad. Just been looking to see if anybody's looking to go out tonight, you know? Oh, oh, I, um, I see. Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, would you maybe be interested? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, you, you mean, you mean me. I mean, you know, if you're free tonight, it would just be fun for us to hang out, you know, like, outside of work. Oh, no, I, no, no, I, I know what you mean. I mean, we could, uh, you know, get a chance to chat and, you know, stuff. Exactly. I mean, you get it. So, can you go out tonight? Oh, oh, sorry, uh, did, did I not say? Uh, no, no, you, you haven't answered yet. Well, let me take a quick look here at my schedule really quick, and, and maybe I can see if I am, uh, oh, no. Oh, what is it? Oh, man, it, it, it looks like I already have plans tonight. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like I'm already going out with some guys tonight. I, I'm sorry. Oh, well, maybe I could join with you all tonight. That would be fun. Oh, well, I mean, I didn't really set this up, you know, and so I don't think they would really like me to be bringing in more people, you know, without asking. <laughs> I mean, well, if, if it was me, I would say just come right along, you know, but uh, I mean, I mean, y y you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I, I get it. I get it. Oh, uh, what, what about a uh, Saturday night, though? Are you free then? <sighs> Yeah, sorry. It's um, I'm looking at it, and it looks like I'm gonna be busy all day uh, then too. So uh, it looks I, I need to be going in for a, a prostate exam actually that day. That that takes you all day? Uh, well, I mean, I mean the way they do it now, uh, unfortunately, yeah, it, it takes.
takes a lot longer than normal. <laughs> I mean, they're trying to be thorough, you know? Oh, uh, okay, well, um, uh, maybe another time. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, Lord Vader. I mean, I'll make sure to make this happen soon. I mean, it's it's definitely been long overdue for us to, you know, <laughs> hang out outside of work. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Well, I should probably get going here. Oh, for sure, for sure. I don't want to keep you. So, uh, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you too, Lord Vader. All right. Good talking to you, buddy. Buddy? But, oh, okay, yeah, uh, we'll talk to you later, Vader. Bye. All right, bye. <sighs> Whew. Wow, I mean, that was a close one. I do not envy who Vader calls next. <laughs> Eh, uh, no. Huh, you just sent me the voicemail. That son of a- No, I am your father. And cut. Alright everybody, that's a wrap for today. Be sure to get that sound piece, alright? Hey, Mr. Vader, sir, f first, I've just got to say that I am a huge fan of yours. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. So, um, wh what I need to get from you real quick is I just need to get a sound of you breathing. That way we can use it for editing later. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so what should I do exactly? Oh, no, nothing at all. You just need to stand there, be yourself, and then I can get the sound recording of you breathing. Oh, okay, uh, sounds simple. All right, everybody, quiet on the set. This is the audio recording of Vader breathing right now. Oh, no, no, Vader, you, you don't need to be nervous or anything. You, you just need to breathe like you normally would. Oh, oh, okay, sorry, sorry, my bad. So, how long should I do this for? I'll let you know. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, but sorry. So, is that enough, or...? Vader, please, just, uh, just, just stay quiet just a little bit longer, okay? Oh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you going to give me a hand signal or something? Vader, seriously, can, can you just stay quiet just a little bit longer so I can get this recording? I, I will let you know when I'm finished. Okay, 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 okay. Do you want to maybe get a pizza or something after this? Ah! Are you freaking kidding me? What is wrong with you? Me? What are you freaking out about? Uh, I'm not the one freaking out. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm the one here trying to do my job, and, and you're, the, you're the one who keeps talking like every, every second I try to do the sound piece. I've asked you like five times to, to stay quiet, and, and yet you won't. <laughs> so who, who's the one with the problem? Okay, okay, sorry. Let's, you know what, let's, let's just try this again. That's my bad. Sorry. Okay. <sighs> okay. This is the audio recording of Vader breathing, take two. Is that enough yet? Oh, come on! Why is this so hard for you to do? We almost had it! Literally, all you had to do was just stand there and breathe. So, you're saying we didn't get it? That's it! I cannot work with this guy. Wait, was that a yes or no on the pizza? Where is the voice bleep guy? Because we're gonna need him ASAP. Actually, you know what? I quit! I'm gonna go back working security at the mall. Okay, I need to grab some supplies. Let's see, I think I need some oil for my ship, some laundry detergent, eggs, and a new toothbrush. Oh, that was easy. Oh wait, hold up. Oh, I'm sorry, what's going on? What, can't you read the sign? But, but I am wearing a mask. No, that's your helmet. You need to wear a mask like this. Wait, I have to wear a mask over my mask? Helmet, and yes, you do. That's not a Death Star mandate. No, but it is Star Mart policy. You can't require everyone to wear a mask here. Ah, six feet, six feet. Oops, sorry. Uh, thank you. 
And yes, it's Starmart policy to wear a mask. Just like how it's our policy to wear a shirt and to leave our blasters in our vehicle before we enter the store. Look, I know my rights. My grandfather fought back in the Clone Wars for this empire. Okay, uh, the Clone Wars have nothing to do with this. Look, it's just our store's policy. It's not gonna hurt you to put on your mask for a few minutes while you buy your groceries. Yes, it could. I could suffocate. Highly unlikely. Look, it's just a precaution to keep you and everyone else in the store safe. There's no proof that masks even stop the spread of the blue shadow virus. It doesn't. Aha! It helps slow the spread of the blue shadow virus. This is ridiculous. I'm going in. Ah! Six feet, six feet! Oh, sorry. Thank you. And no, you cannot come in until you put on a mask. You can't do this. It's against the law. We have the right to refuse service for anyone. It's my body, my choice. It's our store, our policy. I'm going to call in the troopers if you don't let me in. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to call the troopers if you do enter the store. Hey, Todd. How's it going? Oh, hey, Lord Vader. Doing good. And you? Oh, you know. Okay, clean. All right. Talk to you later. And look, I have extras if you need one. Wait. Where did she go? Hmm. Should I go white? Or red tonight. She can't be shocked that they called us here, huh? Ugh, really? Come on, that was a perfect line! It's not perfect when you literally use it every time. Whatever. Hey, want to head over to Ogar's Cantina tonight? You know it. Yeah! yeah. Uh. Hello, and welcome. Today, I'm going to help guide you into meditation, so that you can feel calm and relaxed. To start off, I want you to lay back and just release all your muscles. Let your arms and legs just feel loose, almost like they're not even there. Good. Now, let's take a deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. Uh, Vader, what are you doing? by pretending to whisper into your ears through the internet. Ah. Let's focus now, though, on your negative feelings in your life. Let's focus on your anger. Focus on your hate. Mm. Makes you feel powerful, doesn't it? Excuse me, Lord Vader. Let's take some of those things you hate, like Sam and Tusken Raiders. Not just the men either, but the women and the children too. Ah, uh, I hate them. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to check out my apparel, you can find the link in the description. Excuse me, Vader! Oh my god, what? What could you possibly need? Sir, the rebels are attacking the base, and they're trying to shoot a torpedo into one of the exhaust ports. What? The exhaust port is only two meters wide. That would be impossible, even for a computer. Don't worry, 
I'm like the main character holding this franchise together, so I was able to get off before the explosion. Let's keep going though. Breathe in. And out. Hello, Peter. Remember me? Dr. Octavius. I had that crazy science experiment with these arms that almost got you and your best friend killed. <laughs> remember that? Hey, Peter, remember me? I'm the one who kidnapped your aunt and then threw her off a building just because I needed money. <laughs> remember that? I probably could've just stolen the supplies I needed since I'm stealing anyway. Oh, hey, remember that time we fought on the moving train? Probably the best fighting scene ever, but then I almost killed the entire train of people just to get to you, and then I delivered you to your best friend so he could kill you himself? Ha! <laughs> ah, oh, good times. Lots of almost deaths. Oh, hey, hey, Peter. Remember that time I kidnapped your girlfriend and then threatened to peel the flesh off her bones? Unless you found Spider-Man for me? But <laughs> later, I found out you actually were Spider-Man. Remember, though, that she actually almost ended up dying anyway because my experiment went off the rails again? <laughs> Get it? Off the rails? Ah, oh, good times. But in the end, I ended up being a good guy anyway because I sacrificed myself to save the city. Ah, oh, such a good time. You know what wasn't a good time, though? That weird dance scene you had in the next movie. <laughs> Hey, remember that one, Pete? Thank you everybody for checking out today's video. Also, if you have not yet checked out my new animation channel, be sure to go check it out right now. I'll leave a link in the description as well and a link at the end of this video.